is CNN Breaking News. Let's get more now on our top story. Super Typhoon Haiyan. Last hour, the storm made landfall in the eastern Philippines, and it has all the makings of a major disaster. Torrential rain and winds of more than 300 kilometers per hour. We're going to go to Andrew Stevens. He is there in Tacloban. Andrew, he joins us now live. What's it looking like there right now? Well, conditions continue to deteriorate quite sharply, Patricia. Uh, we are still, uh, according to estimates of uh, the storm chaser James Reynolds, who's a frequent uh, visitor on our show, of course, uh, who's with us here, we're probably about an hour or so away from the actual full brunt of the storm. But at the moment, it is significant gusts. We're quite well uh, protected where we're standing at the moment. But looking out across the city behind us, we can see, I'm starting to see loose iron starting to be uh, taken off uh, roofs things like that so it is continues to build this is at the high end of a category five storm that's what we're being told uh, the local media is now referring it to uh, referring to it as the storm of the century patricia just to give you an idea but certainly uh, we've got another three hours or so of this where it hit landfall is about three or four hundred kilometers away from where we are now so we're expecting another two or three hours of intense uh, winds. Uh, perhaps then the eye will pass over. At this stage it looks like it could pass directly over us. Uh, obviously that's, uh, things can change there. And then we've got the, the other side of the storm to weather. So the people in the Philippines are looking at several hours still of these incredibly strong winds. And uh, accompanying that of course the very low pressure, strong winds that combines to produce a surge, a storm surge it's, caused, uh, it's called where you get a significant increase in the, in the, wall, in the sea level. Uh, so that is obviously a real concern as well. This is quite a low-lying city and along the coast you see a lot of, uh, of, of dwellings of houses right hard up against the sea all the way along. So uh, the question is, have they been evacuated? There has been evacuations. Whether there were enough, whether people realised the severity of what was about to hit them, we don't know yet. Right now I want to bring in Tom Sater who's been tracking this storm for us. So Tom, what's it looking like? Well, conditions are going to continue to deteriorate, uh, not only where Andrew is, but, you know, for the next 25 million people, the next that we'll see this system move from uh, from the east to the west. We're looking at a situation, in fact, you can see this is the greatest storm, not only for this year, but this is going to go down in history. Now, there's several elements that you look at with a storm of this size to actually rank them, and we won't know exactly where this would rank in history for maybe some time, but it's easy to say it could be in the top 10. Could be in the top 15. We've never seen one this strong and affects such a vulnerable area and a coastline which is defenseless.